Hello, Pastor Randy here with a word for this Wednesday. And my word for this Wednesday is authorized. Now, a number of years ago, I worked for a large company in their manufacturing department, and they had a, uh, they had a printing department, and they had a, a large press there, but it had gotten old, and it really wasn't, didn't have the capacity really to uh, provide all the printing needs that they needed. So the owner of the company called me up and said, I need you to go to a trade show, a printing trade show, and buy a new printing press for our company. And here is a signed purchase order for anything up to $1 million. Buy the right one for our company. Well, I went to the show. And uh, sure enough, found the press that we needed and uh, had the confidence that, uh, yes, when I told the, the, the representative, yes, this is the, this is the press we want, and here is a purchase order that is signed by the owner of the company. They were happy, I was happy, and my company was happy. But imagine if I had come back and given my report to the, to the owner of the company, and he said, okay, what, what, what printing press did you buy? And I said, well, one of the places had a, a neat little Canon printer on a show special for $79, and that's what I bought. And he'd said, why did you buy that? If I'd have told him, well, that's all I could afford, I probably would have gotten fired. But you know, that's how we operate as followers of Jesus Christ sometimes. We're given a great commission. We're given a great commandment. And we're told to go and, and make disciples throughout all the earth. But we operate out of our own pocket many times. We say, well, I can't do this, and I can't do that, and I don't have this resource, and I don't have that. When Jesus is saying, I have everything. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and I'll give you the stuff you need to do it. God doesn't give us a vision without giving us a provision. When I was a little boy, my pastor used to say very often, God owns the cattle on a thousand hills and all the taters under the hills. And that's the mindset that we need to have, that God is in control. And when he calls us to do something or he puts us in a situation, he's not asking us to solve it ourselves. He's telling us, trust me, do what I tell you to do, and I'll do what I can do. I was told to go to this show and pick out the press. For that to happen, I had to go to the show. But it wasn't my money I was spending. I was operating under the authority of someone who had much more resources than I do. And that's me as a Christian. I do what the Lord asks me to do, and then he does what only he can do. And it works out great. Let me give you an example. A couple of years ago at my church, we had a, had a water leak just on the edge of the building. And it, would, it caused a, a big puddle to form out there. And um, I called a plumbing company that I'd used a number of times. So I knew that they were competent and I knew that they were fair. I knew they weren't, you know, some ripoff place. And I was out of state with my wife visiting her family. And so the plumber called me that when he got there and he dug around a little bit and he said, I'm afraid we're going to have to, uh, to, to cut the slab to find this leak. He said, it's back up under the building. And I thought, oh no, what's that going to cost? Because the resources that I had available to me is I knew, okay, if we can get this fixed for less than $800, I can cover it. But when he started talking about saw cuts, he started talking about backhoes, started talking about big equipment, I knew he was getting beyond the realm of what I could afford to do with the resources that we had there at the church. And he kind of fired up a quick estimate, and it was going to be somewhere maybe five or $6,000. And then not only that, I was going to have an ugly trench cut inside my building that it was going to have to be patched and the floor was going to have to be repaired and it was just going to be a long mess and oh my heart sunk was, and I was you know hundreds and hundreds of miles away 
so there's no way that I could go and look at it myself or volunteer to do something myself. So I hung up the phone, and I just dropped my head in prayer, and I said, Lord, I'm going to be real interested to see how you work this out because I can't do anything here. I've done what I can do. I've called the plumber. I can't pay five or six thousand dollars. The church doesn't have that kind of money. So I'm going to be interested to see how you make this happen. Well, a couple of hours later, my phone rings again. It's the plumber again. And I'm thinking he's going to be giving me a schedule on when the backhoe is going to be there and when the concrete cutter is going to be there. And he says, all right, well, we got her done. We're down the road. And I said, what do you mean you got her done? He goes, well, right after I hung up with you, I found the, the bad place. And we were able to just kind of tunnel up under there with shovels a little bit and find that the good pipe that we could connect to and make the repair. I said, so you're done? Yes. How much? He said, oh, it's going to be around $500. <laughs> and you know I did a happy dance. And I just said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He worked it out because I was operating out of his pocket, not out of my own. So let me encourage you today. You may be fighting something and the Lord has called you to do something and you know with all your heart it's what you're supposed to be doing and you don't see any way to do it. Trust God. Work under his authority and see how he gets it done. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you that you are such a, a great God and Lord, you have promised that you've begun a good work in us and that you'll be faithful to complete it until the very day of your return. Lord, you've promised that you would supply our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And Lord, I pray for each one who is hearing this. Lord, whatever situation that they are in that looks hopeless in their own resources, Lord, we know that it is nothing in your eyes. That if you've called us to do it, you will be faithful to complete it. Lord, we just pray for that encouragement today as we all attempt to work under your authority and represent you well in this world that we live in. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, go out and work with that authority and see how God blesses you. See you next week.